So can we have some messages, please, from my viewer's person? From my viewer today, messages at this time, nine of pentacles. So this is a timeless reader. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Wow. Okay, the Emperor in reverse. So we've got some Aries energy here. And we have the Two of Pentacles reversed. Four of Cups. The Hermit reversed. We've got Virgo showing up. Also bear in mind, you know, even if the signs don't resonate, have a think and see, you know, did anything happen during Aries season? Did anything happen during Virgo season? Could be the timings that might be relevant as well. Ooh, Ace of Cups. And we have the Three of Wands. Hmm, interesting. I feel your person wants you to know that they have been doing lots of self-improvement and that's actually a message that's been coming up quite a bit recently. So they're feeling pretty good about themselves. I feel to some degree they have put this connection on the back burner because it's like, right, I've got to sort of improve my financial situation or my living situation or my mental health, my physical health, emotional health, you know, whatever it is, I've got to do some kind of self-improvement here and there's no point me coming forward until I've done this. So they've had this connection in mind. I feel actually today that this cup that's coming out of the ether, you know, that's them offering to you, but it's almost like, well, I'm not, you know, I haven't been coming in, I haven't been coming forward to offer because I've, I've, you know, I've learnt from the past, I've learnt from the history within this connection, or maybe, you know, the history in other situations or relationships, and it's like, okay, let me do my work first, then I will come forward. So what I'm seeing here today is that this person you're asking about feels and believes truly that they have done the work because they're coming up first as the nine of pentacles and that is a brilliant energy if you're thinking about um moving forward into a commitment because you've got yourself into a place where you're not going to be dependent you're not bringing in any codependent energy you're not feeling you know kind of needy or desperate which can create insecurities which can create tension in a connection you're feeling really good within yourself and you have um you know you've got a lot to offer whether we're talking about qualities um you can offer maybe um your share of, of financial things whatever that is you know you've, you're feeling good about yourself so they're saying okay i've done this i've worked on myself i'm feeling happy i feel like this period now of having to postpone on making this offer to you is over and I do feel for some of you it's been a very long time with the seven of pentacles um we have the nine of pentacles and the hermit so your person not only have they been doing things that are visible externally so maybe you know moving home getting a new job working out whatever it is um they've also been doing lots of introspection so actually I would like to know because I'm sure you'd like to know what have they been thinking about what's been going on inside that is not visible I also feel with the Seven of Pentacles reversed, for some of you, this is someone who's been taking a lot of time to think about what makes them happy. Um, what would make them happy with you? How can they move forward with you? What do they want for, um, for themselves? Because sometimes, you know, if we look at this card upright, these pentacles look very ready to be plucked out of the tree. She's even got her basket, she's got the ladder, but she's not moving. And it's because she's saying, okay, well, how do I want to do this? What am I gonna do with these um, moving forward? She's, she's really assessing, she doesn't want to rush. Okay, the hermit reversed. What has this person been thinking about? What have they realized? Ooh, Queen of Cups, Five of Cups Reverse. They've they've been thinking deeply about their feelings for you. Again, I do feel this Cups energy is them. Um, Queen of Cups is open to sitting in her feelings, to feel, <laughs> to feeling her feelings. Nah. Um, she's open to accepting them in. Her heart space is not closed. And I think perhaps in the past, your person that was pushing away, rejecting, doing um, lots of projection onto you because of certain things before they, you know, worked on themselves. So that it was difficult to get to their heart space. Well, now it's open. And what they've realized is they want this Two of Cups connection with you. They've come out of this period of grief, of mourning, of my God, I've messed up, you know, um, or oh, there's no happiness in my future to actually hold on 
we have these two cups. And actually, if you think of the two of cups in tarot versus the three of cups, the two of cups is a much more serious committed card. And it's it's very much about union between two people um, that, that talks about friendship, shared goals, loyalty, trust, shared ambition, encouraging each other. Whereas the Three of Cups is more of a jovial, we're all friends here, you know? So actually I kind of like it when we get the Five of Cups reversed because the Two of Cups is, yes, you know, three is more than two, but I, I just think these two cups are more special than the three that have been spilled. So your person feels that, that what they have to offer now is more, is more valuable, um, than what they could have offered in the past. They also see the value of this connection more than they ever have. And I feel that they're saying, I'm feeling really optimistic actually about the future here. Um, and I just want to go back and emphasize and Spirit's telling me that this is gonna be really important to some of you that in the past, if there there were things coming up in your connection like ghosting, you feeling rejected, their behaviour being confusing, hot and cold, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe they even walked away from this connection to be with someone else and you just fully felt unseen, unappreciated, um, that was all coming from them. They went for what they felt they were worth. They went for something that resonated with them they went for what was comfortable and you were outside of that you you know to be with you they had to level up which they've done now but in the past they didn't choose to do that so they kind of rejected you in this connection only because it required something of them that they weren't yet ready for not because it wasn't good enough it was in a way too good in their view so um yeah i just i just feel like that's that it's important for some of you to hear um okay the emperor reversed ace of cups yes this person they could even be like a manager in some way managing other people have some kind of um status in a family situation or um work um, when i say family i mean feeling in some way like head of some kind of family i don't know why this is coming through kind of a, an interesting message like you know um and not, not, not necessarily just like old children, but as in they're taking care of their, the family they were born into, you know, um, they are the, the strong figure that people come to. So feeling like they're living up to whatever responsibility they feel they have to, um, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know, parents, siblings, whoever, you know, everybody. Um, but yeah, for some of you, this is about work. They could be self-employed now. And with the Ace of Cups and the Emperor reversed, I feel this is them saying, I'm ready now. I've got everything, you know, in a good place. I'm ready to take a little bit of a step back in terms of just putting my focus away from this. Um, so it's not 100% on this self-improvement in order to come forward in this romantic way with you. You know, I, it, I'm ready to make more room for this. Um because I feel secure in these other areas within my life. Ordinarily, the Emperor reversed would give me cause for concern, but it's just, it's with this cup that keeps reappearing in the Four of Cups, Queen of Cups, we've got this Ace of Cups. I feel this is a high vibrational, see, look, as I've split the deck, the Fall. Yeah, it's about a new beginning that's very um, heart-based, much more than it was before, at least from your person's end. I think you probably, were more willing to be open with feelings. So we have Aries and Aquarius there. But let's see, anything about this emperor that my viewers need to know? What's this? Yes, Ace of Pen Ace? Eight of Pentacles reversed. So um yeah, they, they feel they're in a position now where they can afford to step back and relax a little with these um, responsibilities and things outside of your connection. So we've got the Three of Pentacles reversed, the King of Swords reversed, um, and the Eight of Wands. I'm hearing Pluto, so a death, a rebirth. Um, someone could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. Wow. This is someone who is planning to move things forward with you in kind of a sudden, quick, dramatic way. Um, and they want the momentum here to to really um, to carry you both forward. They're not interested in slowing anything down, being hot and cold. It's like once things get moving again, they want to soar with you. I feel you could get communication initially through maybe like um, the internet, a text message, something like that. And I feel that they're gonna do this without telling the people around them. So if this is someone who is in a, you know, another relationship or something, um, 
but they're not going to tell the other person. I mean, I suppose that would be kind of a unique situation for them to say, you know what, I'm going to reach out to you, the viewer, and um, I have I have passion <laughs> in mind. I don't know how for how many um, of them that this this let's say karmic or third party would be like, okay, great, you know, have a great conversation. But no, um, they're going to reach out to you. They're not looking for permission. They're not asking for permission. They're not telling anybody else um let's say you work together because there's there is a strong work thing here and maybe you know it concerns both of you in some cases i don't see them let's say they have to go through hr or something like that to have a relationship with you or whatever it is they're not telling hr they're just going to do it so i just feel that whoever's around this person they're not informing them um let's say for example this is someone who wants to make a trip to come and see you they're not going to explain to their colleagues or you know their staff or whatever the situation is for them where they're going um they're just going to go and be and be like yep i'll be back at three or whatever it is um okay let me have a look at this king of swords in reverse i really just want to make sure there's nothing sneaky going on here that you should know about like a red flag because ordinarily as i'm saying i'm looking at these cards emperor king of swords reversed i would say in isolation don't trust this person this is someone controlling who is a liar but i really don't feel it so i just want to make sure king of swords reversed we have justice in reverse um libra yeah this is something about um there's some kind of a contract here i don't know if it's a written contract if it's like a moral contract spoken but this person you're asking about is not going to honor it it's more important to them to come forward and speak with you after a period of time four of swords reverse we've got the king of swords reverse queen of swords you see how they are wanting to have this honest conversation with you and when this king is reversed he's looking over at this queen so their focus is you and it's almost like never mind this other thing that technically i should honor i'm not interested um it doesn't seem to be something romantic three of coins is practical so even if you know you're saying but the third party here or this other thing is a romantic situation for them i don't think it's actually romantic it's maybe just something that feels empty and practical at this point um for some of you yes it could be work um some, some something you know it's works interfering in some way um so they don't feel actually like they're doing anything wrong by coming towards you, even if technically they shouldn't, because there's not an emotional investment in this other thing. Okay, two of coins reverse, three of wands. Yes, I feel they're doing lots of fantasizing, imagining the future with you, imagining coming to you with this ace of pentacles and saying, you know, let's do this. I'm not deciding anymore. I'm not going back and forth. I'm not juggling anything. Knight of Cups, yeah, let's go out, let's start dating, or let's resume dating, let's go and have a nice meal, let's um, have some enjoyable times together. Um, okay, wow, so I would say for some of you, for sure, expect to hear from this person soon, and when you do hear from them, it's good, I think they're going to be quite keen to see you, to meet with you, to get things going, um, and if you live very, very far apart, I think they will want to arrange to meet at some point and in the meantime it's going to be like let's video chat let's um i don't know what are you doing oh you're shopping you know put me on um yeah video chat and i'll i'll walk around or you know virtually walk around with you while you buy your food <laughs> it's almost like let's just let's keep the momentum going um it's not going to be a few messages here and there and then and then they drop off Okay, so let's get some message cards and see. I wonder with this three of coins justice reversed, if in the past this is someone who was too concerned with what other people would think and maintaining some kind of status quo and not concerned enough with themselves, their happiness, with this connection and the potential here. And now it's flipped and they feel fully justified in 
you know, moving towards you here. Okay, so messages, please. We have our connection still affects me. My heart is telling me just do it. Yes, and they're actually listening to their heart now. Um, I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. Yep. Which could have got them in that Five of Cups um, energy initially that they're coming out of or actually are out of. Even though I don't show it, I am sorry for how things went between us. Ooh, you are an angel. Well, there we go. If they didn't feel angelic in the past or, you know, as kind of as um, amazing as you, perhaps the climb to get to where you were, you know, or where they saw you as being was just too steep. So they thought, you know what? Um, I'll just go over there and, and do this or be with that person over there. They seem like they're on my level, but, um, you know, the connection has affected them all this time and it got them to a place where they felt like, it's worth climbing up. It's worth, you know, um, going through these changes. Even if it takes a while, even if it's not easy. Ooh, we will be together again. Yes, you see, that's exactly it. We've got my heart is telling me just do it. We will be together again. This is someone who is focused and serious and very optimistic about the future. Sometimes I'll get, you know, they want to come forward and they they might, but they are concerned that you might say no or you might not be interested. Um, I don't know how much right now this person's even considering that. They, all they're considering is that from their end, they've got to take action. They want to take action and they're going to take action. Um, my mind and heart always comes back to you. Wow. So if you're wondering, does this person think about me? Yes. You're the only person who truly gets me. Well, yes. So of course they don't want to live without you because if no one else gets them, it's that's lonely, isn't it? Um, okay, so let's see what else. I'm kind of hoping with this deck that something will come out to tell us um, a bit more about what's going on in their 3D, you know, I just feel there is something about them walking away from something, coming towards you um, a bit under the radar because of something or someone else, or maybe even this Nine of Pentacles. What have they been doing in the meantime? I feel right now choosing you would take me in the wrong direction. I'm scared I'll go off course with my life. Please give me time to sort this out and decide what's right for me. That to me makes absolutely no sense <laughs> with what we've seen. I can believe that was in the past. I might go in and clarify in a minute, um, but let's see if it makes more sense as we go. Um, some things you've said have me reeling. Oh, I see. I appreciated it even if I acted defensive. I have some reflecting to do, but I'm not going anywhere. I know this will make us stronger. So, okay, this is the past. It's almost like we've got a, a storyline going on here. I feel like this was them um, delaying, maybe choosing the path that was easier. This is them in the separation or distance, thinking about what you've said. You know, their mind and heart always comes back to you, um, feeling like, okay, actually, maybe I will do the self-work because I miss you too much. Um, okay. So maybe you said something to this person and I don't know if it caused a tower moment, a split, a separation, an argument, but that even could have been the final catalyst to get them to look within and, and think, you know what, actually you're right. I didn't like hearing it and I may have been, you know, angry that you said it or upset, but you're right. Um, so I've got some changes to make. I know this will make us stronger. Yes, coming in as the nine of pentacles. <laughs> I feel like you're too good for me. I'm afraid once you get to know me better, you won't want me and could find someone better. So clearly they want you to know about all of the insecurities, the self-doubts they had, probably masked um, as arrogance actually in the past. I have to take care of a child matter right now or someone else who's dependent on me. I can't move forward till it's taken care of and I feel like it's stabilized. Thank you for your patience. That's that emperor in reverse. So whatever this is, a child or relatives or one in particular, I feel like they've got that situation under control. They're feeling good about it. So now it is stabilized and they have room um, to focus on other areas of their life. And the first area they're going to look to now is, is this one, is you. Wow, I'm so sorry. 
I will make this right by you. I love you. Oh, I know you think your body isn't perfect, but it's heaven to me. And I often think about and look forward to exploring it and how to pleasure you beyond what you've known. I want you so bad. If we, wow, these two very connected. If we were just intimate and I ran away, please know it wasn't you. It was just super intense and awesome. So I ran feeling undeserving. I'll get my courage back and come back around. So for some of you, a very specific message that you may have been intimate with this person physically and then they disappeared and maybe you took it really personally and felt hurt. Like, oh God, was it, you know, um, just like a horrendous experience for them or did they not find me attractive or something like that but they're saying no actually um it wasn't that at all okay let's see one more please I don't, tr of course the last one has to be confusing. I don't trust this connection right now. Maybe it's what my friends have been saying. I'm just feeling skeptical. Am I imagining this delusional? Have you cast a spell on me? I hope it's real. Let's clarify. Six of Swords reverse. So this is them coming back in. Potentially this is how they felt in the past. It's one of the reasons maybe they didn't give as much as they now wish they had have done. Um, they could have thought it was too good to be true. People might have been confirming it to them. Um, but, you know, clearly they're coming back towards you now. Six of Swords reversed. Let's see. Anything else to clarify? Do you know, I'm getting another very specific message. For some of you, you have someone in mind and their friend group. Um, how can I explain it? The standard in terms of connections, romantic connections, relationships that happen within this friend group. So um, let's say your, your, your person has a friend called Derek. Derek is dating someone called Claire. Your person sees Derek and Claire and is like, oh, well, that's a standard relationship, the kind I'm used to seeing. It's okay, whatever, nothing to shout about. And this is what they see going on within their friend group. Um, I don't know, why am I having trouble explaining this? <laughs> the kind of relationships this, your person is used to, the kind of relationships they're used to seeing their friends be in, have all been a certain kind of way. So then you come along and your person's thinking, mm, mm -mm, no, this is too good to be true. I'm not being fooled. They're talking about this with their friends. Their friends are saying, yeah, of course, that's not a thing. That's not what relationships are like. Relationships are basically burdens in some ways with a few perks here and there. You shouldn't trust this person. Um, they're obviously presenting a false image or something like that. So then your person was like, yeah, that's what I thought, you know, but it's something to do with settling. Your person having settled in the past, their friends having settled as well. Um, okay. Yeah, I think, I think I said, <laughs> I think I've managed to explain what was going on in my head. Also, you know, if you're like, well, why is Derek with Claire? Maybe you're not here for a heterosexual relationship. Maybe Derek is in a relationship with George, you know? <laughs> or Claire's in a relationship with Sarah, whatever. Okay, so what else, please? Oh, look, Knight of Swords. Yes, here we go. And I've been feeling the energy of this Knight of Swords throughout the reading, except with less of an edge. Sometimes the Knight of Swords is a little aggressive, um, I think we're looking more at being dynamic, being passionate here, not so much as being aggressive, like stabby with their words, you know, not so much of that. Okay, so, I, you know, not to say all the readings are connected, because often they aren't, but I do remember in Monday's reading, I finished the reading by saying, this person, although they have this sort of king of wands, momentum, drive, passion, I couldn't see them in that reading actually just getting on with it. I really do feel that in this reading. It's not even like, oh, they've got this 10 step big, you know, elaborate plan. It's more like, right, I'm, I'm really in a good place now. I do feel I'm on the same level as you. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna reach out. I'm gonna come and visit you, you know, however you're used to interacting with this person. Okay, so, um, I'm just going to leave. No, actually, I won't. I'll clear these away and then we will get into um, 
the channeled message. So let's have two piles. I have one deck here. Yeah, let's do it by decks. And yeah, let's use this deck as well. Okay, so you can do it by number, one or two. Maybe you have a preferred number or one that feels right today, or you can do it by deck. So this is going to be deck number one. And this will be deck number two. Okay, so um, obviously, you know, if you want to think about it, you can pause. But otherwise, let's begin. Let's get into it. So, Spirit, can you please help me to channel in first person a message to pile, group, pile one, group one from the person that they have in mind? Okay, can we have a first person message, please, for group one from their person? Oh, wow. Ace of Cups. Okay. Oh, my goodness. With the full Aries Aquarius, Ten of Cups reversed, Page of Cups reversed, all cups apart from the full. Amazing. Okay. The Hierophant. We've got Taurus. The Emperor Aries in reverse. Four of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Swords. Oof. Okay, on the back, four of cups reverse. Pile one, just to say before we get into this, I feel the collective reading was definitely for you. Um, right, okay, pile one. I'm coming forward. I'm coming forward with this offer, this new beginning, and my intention is a commitment with you. I want something that is for life. I want something that feels... Um, traditional and homely and secure to both of us even if it doesn't look traditional or conventional to other people um, I've got so much to tell you about the things that I have been working on but I want you to know these other areas of my life so work responsibilities doing self-improvement that's not going to um, override us it's not going to take your place it, these are things I've been doing to get myself um, into a position and and as someone who I feel is worthy of you. I know you might be suspicious of me, you might not trust me entirely because of things that have happened in the past, but um, all I can do is come forward as the person that I am and hope that you trust yourself at least enough to know that if there are any warning signs, you will spot them immediately. I have regrets here. I was a fool. I missed out on so much happiness with you. Um, I see it now. <clears throat> and um, I, I, as well as having regret, I find, I find it on the most basic level to be embarrassing. Embarrassing that I behave that way. Embarrassing that I let this pass me by. And I'm also embarrassed that I need to talk about this. I feel I need to acknowledge this. I need to say to you... Um, I need to talk about what's happened. I need to give some answers. I need, I, you know, I want to provide some explanations, but at the same time, it makes me cringe inside um, to have to even talk about this because I don't even identify as being that same person that you remember. Um, I want to be so much more open with you though, and it starts there. It starts with addressing things that have happened. I feel I owe you a message, an apology. I think about you every day. I long for a message from you. I reread old messages, I watch you online, I fantasize, I daydream about you. Um, and as much as I sit here hoping that you will reach out to me, it does feel like wishful thinking because I do feel like the onus is on me to step up and, um, and acknowledge the past and present myself as I am now and to talk about my wishes for uh, the future which again, just want to re-emphasize, it's not just about passion or even um, emotion. It's something I want to ground. Um, I want commitment here. Okay, you know, I think, I think that's really the message from your person. It's very straightforward. It's like, I'm seeing the past, I see how I messed up. I, it really, you know, 10 of swords, I feel it in a big way. Um, it goes, when I think of the past, I move right through from heartbreak to just plain, pure embarrassment and everything in between. Um, Ace of Cups, I want this new beginning with you. So much transformation. We've got all these butterflies here, um, but I want it to lead to something um, solid here 
you know, I don't want these feelings to all fly away and that's it. I want to to nurture them and for this to grow. And, you know, beyond the first person message we just had, a lot of this is very similar to what we just had in the collective spread. Even, you know, four of cups reversed, there's a past, there's a history, several perhaps missed opportunities, but this person's coming back in um, and saying, this is going to be the opportunity, this is the one. And yeah, it's really important that they're, they're saying, even if you, you can't trust me initially, please just trust yourself because I trust you. I know if there's anything that's not okay, you will tell me because, you know, you did in the past. I don't think, you know, I don't know whether the card is, but um, look, you've said some, you um, some things you said, excuse me, have me reeling. Exactly. They know that if there's something up, you will tell them. Um, and they want you to take courage from that as well. That if there's any anything going on, you will spot it. You will, you know, alert them to it. Okay, so I'm going to clear up and move to pile two. I wonder if pile two will be so similar to the collective as well. Let's see. Okay, so Spirit, can we have a channeled message, please, for pile two for group two? Seeing the Hierophant as well for group two. We just have this in group one. Okay, first person channeled message, please, for group two. First person channeled message from their person. The Magician reversed. We've got Gemini, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Queen of Swords reversed, Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles and the Emperor in reverse for the third time in this reading. What's on the back? Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay. <clears throat> this feels slightly more complicated. Um, and don't be alarmed with how this starts, <laughs> because I know this is going to get your back up but we'll see how this goes okay so for pile two I feel that, that you haven't been entirely honest with me as well um I haven't spoken my truth necessarily or been or you know haven't always been honest about my intentions here but I also feel you've held back from me as well I feel that in the past we were doing a bit of a dance um neither of us felt entirely safe enough to be very transparent with our feelings wishes hopes for the future here and we were both trying to give less than we were receiving in terms of transparency both trying to look to the other person and work out what do you want what what are you saying what does that re versus what does it really mean and then reacting to that so being very cautious like we were playing a game of chess in reality though, my feeling is that we actually both really want to work on this. We want to team up, we want to take this forward and we're both willing, desiring and are able at this point to give consistent, dedicated effort. I have, for some of you, I'm just gonna come out here, for some of you there's a child involved or children on this person's side. Um, so um, I have a child or I have children and they are the biggest factor right now in terms of how do I um, move towards you and, and walk this new path and begin this new life with you. Um, if it's not a child or children, I have an offer to bring you. I'm going to start small. Um, I don't want to overwhelm you or myself. I don't want to promise more than I can give. I am convinced I can give a lot now, a lot more than before, but just in case. I don't want to create or cause any more disappointment. I do ask though that as much as I am showing up and really trying to be brave and honest and open at this point, that you try to do the same with me because how we were, we were being before um, didn't get us anywhere and we both were left feeling unsatisfied, both left feeling that we hadn't heard everything from the other that we wanted to, we hadn't said everything to the other that we wanted to. So I feel this is a new chance, a new beginning for us. Um, I am coming forward, I have a lot of passion, I have a lot of strength that I want to channel into this connection, I have been working on myself, um, I have been making lots of self-improvements, I feel that I am a more reliable person, I'm a more honest person, I am, um, 
I'm someone, I feel I bring value into people's lives now and I think other people really see me in that way. Um, and I want to bring, I want to bring that value to you. I want you to see me as someone who is valuable. But we need to, we need to speak openly. We need to trust each other. We need to communicate from the heart. Okay, group two, your person is, um, I do see them saying, yes, I'm coming forward. I have an offer, but this group feels, your person feels more nervous, more fearful than, than group one, because in this pile, I feel there's a real, um, it's like, please, 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 <laughs> please, can we just trust each other enough to be completely open and honest with each other? And they're asking this of themselves. That they're, they're like, you know, psyching themselves up, like, come on, you can do it. You can be brave. Four of Pentacles reversed. You can be completely honest with your feelings. You can do this. And they're saying, you know, please in return, please, will you be the same with me? And it's not to say you haven't been, but it's, it's, they're putting themselves out there. They're preparing to, they're going to be what they consider vulnerable. And it's like, please just catch me, you know, like this spider in the web, don't let me fall because I know you could, I know you could at this point just maintain silence or you could fob me off. Maybe they even did this too in the past, but it's like, please don't, please catch me. And what does that mean to them? Being caught by you means you responding in the same way that they're coming forward. So open, transparent, um, so if you have always been that way, it's like they're saying, please continue. If you have been guarded because you've needed to be cautious and careful, they're saying, please don't feel you have to do that now with me. So yeah, it's like, please, 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 please. <laughs> and I feel it so strongly, please be open with me. Let's just communicate so it's clear. So we're not, it's, we don't, we don't, you know, we don't have to read between the lines. So there's a feeling from your person here, group two, that they feel a lot of confusion in the past is because of miscommunication, only giving half of the information or bits here and there. Um, for whatever reason, maybe one or both of you felt because of situations surrounding connections, you couldn't be completely open with each other. I don't know, but they're hoping it will be different now. And I'm noticing for group one, the sun really came out. Group two, it's it's darker. So, um, you know, if we think of the sun and the moon, it's like, yes, I'm coming forward. The moon has a feeling of facing fears of vulnerability. Um, and I, it's like a person saying, I don't want, I don't want to see by the light of the moon and have lots of shadows anymore. Let's just, let's bring in this burst of light with this ace of wands and, um, and be completely, I keep hearing transparent, completely transparent with one another okay so i'm gonna leave this here um so i hope this resonated um i do feel the piles one and two at the end really carried over from the collective um but yeah so i hope you know all of it resonated or just bits and pieces but um yeah thank you so much for being here and i will see you again soon bye